Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be sharing some products I got from a recent PR haul from Gerard Cosmetics. In my other video that I did two years ago of my very first PR haul, I kind of mentioned how their PR system works. So the way their PR system works is that as an affiliate, I get store credit and then I can just choose what products to buy that I want to try out, which I think is really nice. I always rave about how their PR system works ever since I joined as an affiliate. I didn't really get too much for my PR haul this time. I kind of have a good collection of Gerard Cosmetics already. And I'm just getting back into makeup again, so I didn't want to kind of overload my collection with new products that I may not necessarily want to try right now. The first product is a liquid lipstick. This is their Hydra Matte Formula, and this is the shade Aphrodite. This shade is kind of like a nude, terracotta kind of light shade. I thought it would look really good with the lipsticks that I already have, and it was a very me color. It's a color that I really like and that I usually go for. The next product is their Brow Bar to Go. It's got three little shades in it. This is the Medium to Ebony palette. I have naturally black hair, so I have naturally black eyebrows. And usually eyebrow kits are always too light for me. They just kind of stop at very dark brown. But I decided to just pick it up and try it anyway, even though I knew that it was probably just going to be dark brown, like always. But there are three little shades in this little palette, so you got kind of like a lighter shade, a darker shade, and then this is a kind of creamy shade to try to be probably like a con concealer, I guess. Basically a little eyebrow kit. But like I said, it is dark brown. I have black eyebrows, but I will try it out just to see the formula and maybe later on they will actually have a actual black eyebrow kit. So the next product I got is this Mystified Hydrating Facial Mist. This is not part of the Slay All Day mist, I don't believe. Obviously it's different. It looks different in the bottle. It looks like it's a thicker formula. I haven't tried any of these products out yet. I'm planning on doing kind of like a full face of Gerard Cosmetics and giving like a full review on all the products. I'm probably not going to be a big fan of the smell of this. It kind of smells like an old lady to be honest. But we will see how it goes when I do try it out. The last product I got is their Buttercream Lip Scrub. They do have a little lip scrub, and mine recently kind of was old, and I was like, I'll just get a new one. But it looks a little dry in the pan, or the little pot. I haven't used it, obviously. It is very hard, actually. I'll probably need to put a lip oil on it or something, but... So the scent is buttercream, and I was expecting that very generic common birthday cake flavor or smell not flavor but the smell reminds me it's a very specific smell to me when you go to the thrift store and you see like little decorations with candles in them they always have that like thrift store candle smell to it if you know what I'm talking about then you'll understand but that's what it sounds like to me if I were to find a candle at the thrift store that's what that lip scrub smells like to me I don't hate it, but I don't love it. It's kind of like a love-hate relationship with that smell. But we will see how the product works out for me. The lip scrub, how, I mean, how bad can it get? The last product in my little haul is a little merchandise. This is kind of the last little bit of merchandise that I needed from Gerard Cosmetics. But it is, I think they came out with this last year, I think, for Pride Month. But it is a shirt. It says GC Pride on it and love is love. But it is kind of a thin shirt. I do believe the sizes are unisex. They might be. 
I'm pretty sure they are though since there is only one option of shirt available unlike their slay all day shirts but the material is kind of thin so you would probably definitely need to wear something under it because it does seem a little see-through or at least wear light colors like if you wear bras or something maybe just wear a light color but definitely wear something under it if you don't want it to be showing I got a size large which is usually the size of shirts that I get because I like kind of the baggy fit of clothes to be comfy and I did get the unisex shirt their slay all day shirt in the size large as well and this shirt does seem a little bigger so if you do have like one of these shirts and you're looking to get the other do with that information what you will but they are the same size but this one seems a little bigger than the slay all day unisex large and that is all for my very small little PR haul. This was kind of the last little round of products that I needed to get from Gerard Cosmetics to say I've tried out every kind of category from the brand. Definitely not every product because they have a lot of lip colors. But once I try these out, I will definitely have tried every, at least one thing from every single category. And I am planning on doing at least one video of like a full on in-depth review of all the products that I have. Maybe do a full face of everything. I am an affiliate of Gerard Cosmetics, so I do have a referral link and an affiliate code for you. If you use the link, I do earn commission if you buy something. And if you use the code at checkout, it gives you 30% off. The code is Magically Panda, and the link will be in the description box below if you want to buy something. They are having their Black Friday sale they started November 20th, so they are doing it pretty long. They are also having Cyber Monday sales, of course. The affiliate codes do not work during their little Black Friday sales, so just keep that in mind. But if you do want to pick something up, I would appreciate it if you used my link and helped me out. Give me a little commission. But that is all for today's little PR haul video. Make sure to check out my Instagram and Twitter both at Magically Panda. I have been trying to get better at posting on Twitter instead of just liking and retweeting random pictures and stuff. But Instagram, I've definitely gotten back into. I am posting more makeup looks. I got a few makeup looks ready to be posted after all this Black Friday stuff is kind of over. But thank you so much for joining me for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one for some more fun. <laughs>